After you watch the Ed Puzzle video about the different functions of the human body, I would like you to watch this short video clip titled, How a Bean Becomes a Fart. I know it might seem a little silly, but hey, every human does it, so we'll talk about it. Um, as you watch the video, I want you to be thinking about those 10 different functions of the human body that were discussed in the Ed Puzzle. Um, I want you to identify two of the 10 functions you observed in this video clip and then explain why you picked those functions of the body or how this example fits those functions of the body. Um, I encourage you to type your answer in a Google Doc first and then copy paste it into the discussion board. Please make sure you do not submit your answer as a private comment because then your classmates will not be able to see your answer. I've attached another video clip with a tutorial for how to answer discussion board questions in Google Classroom in case um, you are unfamiliar with how to do that. Um, if you send me a private comment by mistake, I'm going to ask you to um, retype your answer into the discussion board because in addition to your original discussion post, you must also respond to two other classmates. Um, you will have until your second remote day to do this just in case um, you are an early bird and get this done early and no one responds um, to the discussion post uh, board until later on, um, but you are expected to respond to two other classmates and you're expected to start to have productive, thoughtful, substantive comments. So I don't want you to just say, I agree or I like what you said. Um, I have some sentence starters for you to start thinking about um, and to start making really meaningful comments. Um, you can say something like, I had a similar idea because dot 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 and explain why. You can ask for a clarification or further explanation if something is unclear. So for example, you can say something like, I'm not sure I'm following your point about blank. Can you explain that again? And you can respectfully offer a different perspective if you do disagree with the classmate's perspective or interpretation of data. Although I understand your point that, I think blank. Remember our norms for online discussions. You want to be respectful. You want to be um, mindful of other people's ideas. Keep an open mind. And we don't want to make anybody feel bad. Um, if they say something that you think is wrong, you know, we're here to support each other. If you have any questions on this assignment, please feel free to send me an email.